Well, this is an amazing story. Forfeit rather than fight. That's what one high school wrestler decided to do when he found out he would have to go up against a girl, missing his shot at a state title. But the 15-year-old says it's a matter of his faith. Joining us now for his first live TV interview is Joel Northrup, a wrestler at Linmar High School in Marion, Iowa. We should point out that he is, uh, for the most part, homeschooled, but he does wrestle on the team. Good morning to you, Joel. Good morning. All right, let's take you back a week. There you are, first round of the 112-pound category uh, in the finals, and you were supposed to wrestle Casey Herkelman, a girl, one of two girls in the tournament this year. What did you decide to do, Yes. and why did you do it? We know we, you forfeited. Yeah, well, I mean, back in fifth grade, I'd made the choice if, um, if I'd have to wrestle a girl or been put up and get in that situation, I would forfeit. Why? Well, um, wrestling is a combat sport and it gets violent at times. You get put in holes that are, you know, um, compromising. And I just don't feel it's right that uh, boys and girls should wrestle in a manner like this. So is it something that has to do with your religion or is it just a general opinion that you have? Yes, it does have to do with religion. There's no, I mean, um, specific scripture or verse in the Bible that condemns wrestling girls. Right. But it's more of a biblical principle well, this year of treating the opposite gender with respect. Sure. Um, this year there were two girls in the finals, and uh, so you had made a pledge not to wrestle either one of them. Why isn't there a league for girls, or, or even should there, because obviously there's an interest on the part of some young ladies. Yeah. Should there be well, a league? I think there should be. I, I don't think wrestling should be a co-ed sport because of just all the compromising holds and everything. Yeah. Um, I do believe that if girls want to wrestle, they should wrestle girls, other girls, mm -hmm. and boys should wrestle boys. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, so we do have some opinion from Cassie. She was the female wrestler that you decided not to go up against. Let's listen to what she had to say. Oh. He has the right to make his own choice, and, like, he made his choice. It's not like he did, did what he didn't want to do. Let me ask you this, Joel, because you said that you didn't want to wrestle her out of respect uh, for her as a, as a young girl or as a woman. Um, some people might say that to respect her, you would wrestle her because you'd be treating her as an equal. Well, I, I don't believe that, I mean, her husband someday, I don't believe he would want me to wrestle her. And I don't believe it's right just for, especially a 16-year-old, 15-year-old. Shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I, th I think you're exactly right. I was a wrestler in high school, and I, I can't imagine wrestling a girl in a competition. But this, Joel, is, is about something bigger than wrestling, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Respect and what? Yep, and just, and I'm taking care of that it's going to be somebody's wife someday. Um, caring for her and yeah. everything that goes along with that. Sure. So it was worth you not being able to compete uh, further into the tournament. Uh, by all accounts, uh, people are saying that you would have done really well, but you decided to stick to your decision. Yes, I did. I mean, I had a shot at doing pretty good, but sure. um, I, my, my principles, I had to stand behind those. We understand. Those more, more important to me. Right. And we salute you. You are a winner in our book. Uh, Joel, we thank you very much. We know that someday you'd like to perhaps go to law school. Thanks for joining us live yep. today. Thank you very much. Great kid. Coming up on our show, Libyan leader.